and welcome back to Atreyu News. Wow, this presidential candidate's rally look a, looks a lot like Trump's. And that's what I keep telling people. The new renaissance has come. A divine intervention has taken place. People can say as they wish. All I'm saying is that the further we get from God, the further we get from the belief, the further we get detached from reality, and the further into chaos we plummet. This is a divine intervention worldwide where a nationalist front movement is taking Europe and the West back by storm. And just like as it says in the great book, no weapon forged against us shall prosper. And we are witnessing it now. We've seen it with Trump in particular and the Brexit. All the polls were against them. Hillary Clinton and Obama were working together. All the celebrities were against them. All the World Banking Federation was against him. Most of the world leaders were against him. And yet he still won. All that combined. And now we find out the FBI was tapping Trump's phone. Obama was doing sadistic things to try and corrupt Trump and destroy everything he had worked so hard to build. And none of it worked, folks. None of it. This is our time. It is our offensive and we are going to win this fight. Beautiful. Marine Le Pen enters the stage at a rally. Look at the public. Marine Le Pen. Is that awesome or what? strength in the West. God has returned. And what's that other saying? If you turn from your wicked ways, it's like, if you turn from your wicked ways and believe in God, he'll heal, heal your land, more or less. I got that quote wrong. But it's definitely from the Bible, and uh, there's a quote just like that. I'll have to get the exact one. Fake news, fake news media won't report this. That's what I don't get. These people march on the street. What in the hell for? They either have no job or want no job. Look at this. 235,000 jobs added in February. And we go up and up and up. Wow, U.S. net worth achieves record since Trump took office. Trump said we are going to win, win, win. As if he could see the future. Perhaps he knew something we didn't. Or perhaps God was talking to him directly. It wouldn't surprise me. U.S. household net worth has just reached a record $92.8 trillion, coinciding with Trump's arrival into office. From the Wall Street, Wall Street Journal, U.S. household net worth climbed to a record $92.8 trillion in the fourth quarter of 2016 as the end of the year surge in stocks and steady climb into home prices added more than $2 trillion of wealth to household balance sheets. The biggest contributor to the increase was the stock market, which added $728 billion household balance sheets in the fourth quarter, according to the Federal Reserve's quarterly financial accounts report. Stock market rallied about 8% in the fourth quarter of 2016 following the election of President Donald Trump, which many investors anticipating tax cuts, regular regulatory relief, and physical stimulus. The market has climbed an additional 6% so far this year, which isn't captured in Thursday's report. The figures are reported in nominal terms, but are also at a record if adjusted for inflation or population. U.S. households lost nearly $13 trillion during 2007-2009. $13 trillion. Can you imagine? It's amazing we even made it through that psycho crisis. Since the first quarter of 2009, however, wealth has soared by $38 trillion, driven by an eight-year rally in stocks and eventually by a robust recovery in home prices. Real estate gains contributed to this quarter's rise. The value of the real estate owned by households and nonprofit organizations climbed by $557 billion in the fourth quarter, reaching a record $26.5 trillion that exceeds the housing bubble's peak by $1.6 trillion. The gusher of household wealth should be expected to increase consumer spending and depress savings rates. Michael Ferrali, chief U.S. economist of J.P. Morgan Chase & Co., said in a note, 
the propensity of families to spend more and stop socking money away, known as wealth effect, however, has been less pronounced in recent years <coughs> than during the stock and housing bubbles. The report provides no information on the distribution of wealth among households. Much stock ownership is highly concentrated in wealth households, and most valuable real estate in the U.S. is largely concentrated in coastal states. But the national rise in home prices benefits the majority of Americans who own homes, and rising equities benefits many middle-class households with savings in the 401k and IRA accounts. The ratio of household net worth to disposable disposable personal income also reached a new peak. Household net worth is now 6.5 times higher than the personal in income, a milestone that has now surpassed the previous peak set during the hideous days of the housing bubble. That ratio shows the surge in wealth over the past five years and has rapidly outstripped the much more modest gains in the most households outcome. I know this, my property and my house has gone up 5% since, eh, say, mid last year. My precious metals have skyrocketed. My physical and stock uh, precious metals have skyrocketed since November 8th. And I even own a couple bitcoins. I know people are kind of sketchy about the digital currency, whatever. Uh, that just keeps going up and up and up, too. So it appears quite clear that all America needed was to let the reins and the leash and the muzzle off and America will take care of the rest. What a powerhouse country. It's amazing. A little bit of freedom and America dominates the world.